Hi everyone, I'm here filming on location at the Italian Cultural Center Market. We're here every Friday from 4 to 8. We started doing this July 8th, so it's our newest market location. And I thought I would just give you a little tour of the market to show you what we have here for you today. So walk with me if you will. We've got some amazing products right here from Vancouver, from food peddlers and fresh fruits. So we've got some very nice basil shoots and some flower shoots today. All the leafy greens are from fresh fruits. We've got cilantro, parsley, mizuna greens, dill, fresh pulled red Russian garlic, as well as purple ampus radishes and sweet white salad turnips. Some beautiful tomatoes and peppers out of the Fraser Valley and some nice salad mixes from fresh roots as well. We've got some great rootables, vegetable chips, sweet potato, parsnip, taro, and yam as well as beets. Just a light sprinkling of sea salt. They're so delicious, but a little warning, they're pretty addictive. So be careful when you open the bag. Some great bread from Gesundheit Bakery out of Abbotsford, Mogiana Coffee, some wonderful baked treats from Blackberry Hill Bakery out of North Vancouver. A great selection of juices from um, Farmer Bell out of Abbotsford. We've got the new strawberry juice and strawberry smoothie just out this week. They're just so delicious. I test marketed one of the strawberry smoothies so I can tell you with absolute certainly certainty that it's just really flavorful and delicious. And all her berries are grown no spray, so without the use of pesticides and herbicides. Apple cider out of Taves Family Farm in Abbotsford. A great assortment of apple cider and pear cider vinegars from Harvey's Organic in Coston in Okanagan. Sweet Taya Bakery, cookies and tarts, as well as some more from Blackberry Hill Bakery, brownie and butter tarts. Some brilliant wild rice, wild mushroom mix, and big leaf maple syrup. This is local maple syrup and this is very very hard to find outside of um, a few farms on Salt Spring Island that do it I don't know of anybody else that does it besides West Coast Wild Foods and it's just so delicious such a different flavor than the maple syrup we get from out east so it's definitely worth a try some mountain huckleberry and Saskatoon berry jam Beautiful unpasteurized raw honey from Jane's Honeybees. This is all from Surrey right now. It's, um, we have blueberry honey as well as wildflower honey. An awesome product selection from Fieldstone Organics. These guys are great because they work with a lot of small farms out of the Okanagan that wouldn't otherwise have their op the opportunity to get their product easily to market. So there's a lot of um, pulses some ancient greens, which are great as rice substitutes. I particularly like the emmer. Got some green beans and some beets from the Fraser Valley, some white button mushrooms. Um, these are some of my favorites. They're from Taves Family Farm as well. Got a mix of mini heirloom tomatoes as well as some cherry tomatoes. Some cucumbers from the Fraser Valley. Um, some great shallots and yellow onions. Um, as well as a large selection of different dried products. So we have different dried herbs from Clippers Organics. Um, some of the, the newer products, dried zucchini and butternut squash. And these are great because you don't have to cut up a huge squash to get that same squash flavor in your soups or stews. You can just toss them in. And it's really easy to do. It saves you time in the kitchen. Um, three different kinds of super hot peppers, Thai dragons, serranos, and habaneros. Dried fruits are from Harvey's Organics as well as Clippers Organics. We've got apple chips, dried tomatoes, dried peaches, and dried um, what call it? apricots as well. 
Then we've got early gold apples from the Okanagan, as well as the first pairs of the Okanagan. These are Bartlett's. And then look at all of this wonderful fruit. Got peaches, nectarines, cherries, apricots, Italian prune plums, red currants, and blueberries. So as you can see, there's many, many reasons to come to the market today. Come and take some local fruit with you and enjoy the outdoor dancing that starts at seven at the Italian Cultural Center here. They have a live band. It's great because I get to enjoy it here. I get to hear the music and then see the people dancing and there's all kinds of delicious treats.